Hey, 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 this is Beverly and I will not be denied. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Be sure and share this with your friends and your family really quick. I just wanted to encourage you to celebrate yourself today. Regardless of when you watch this, go ahead and find something to celebrate yourself for. I don't mean what you post on social media that you got a new car, that you're going on a trip that you got some new furniture all of that is great and it's wonderful congratulations but i mean the things that really really matter they might be small but they are significant and they really matter especially when it comes to you becoming who you're supposed to be if you went all day at work and you didn't cuss nobody out you need to celebrate yourself if you had one soda today, whereas you would normally have three or four, you need to celebrate yourself. If you and your mate have had like 24 hours of just a general, regular, nice conversation, you even laughed a little bit, whereas just a short time ago, you could not stand each other's guts. That needs to be celebrated. If your child is being respectful, they're coming in earlier versus staying out all hours of the night. That is to be celebrated. It's the small things like that that really, really matter because you're with yourself 24 hours a day. So you need to be your biggest cheerleader. And the small things like that, they add up and they matter over time. And you know, when you cheer yourself on, you celebrate yourself, it is genuine because when you when you post things on social media, you get congratulations and that's awesome. And, you know, most of those people are probably genuinely happy for you. But you have some people, they'll say congratulations and that's wonderful and all of that. But in real life, they hate and they mad. They're mad at the fact that you're not as fat as you used to be. They mad at the fact that your husband would not give them the time. And now y'all happy and mad at your at the fact that your wife really does cook you dinner and she really honors you and respects you. They hate the fact that y'all got another car and you've been on another trip again. Whatever. You got some people who really hate that for you and they really hate that about you and they really hate you. So they're not going to cheer you on. They're going to take whatever it is that you post. And they're going to go and talk about you. That's just more ammunition for them to use against you. And it's time out. I'm not saying don't post because, you know, it is what it is. But I'm saying there needs to be more private celebrations, more private cheering sessions for ourselves. Because we, when we post stuff online, we give people more ammunition. Let's, let's let them make up stuff about us. We can post all the good stuff and all the great stuff and all of that, but we're still giving them ammunition. But when we celebrate ourselves in the privacy of our own mind, in the privacy of our own home, we are just better encouraging ourselves. David encouraged himself and he ended up being, well, he did some really mighty things for the kingdom of God. If we encourage ourselves, we can do mighty things for the kingdom of God as well. Not saying that we're not going to have any people who don't like us. It ain't, you know, it ain't going to be like that. But I'm just saying we're going to be with ourselves 24 hours a day. We can't escape ourselves. So we might as well be our number one cheerleader and let everybody else, you know, cheer us on if and when they feel like it. Anyways, that's about it. I just wanted to share that with you guys because I don't think we celebrate ourselves enough. Be sure to release your genius. Pull off the impossible every day. Remember, you will have whatever it is that you say. So be positive when you speak, queen.